First and foremost, there's a media mogul, dare I say, but a man who's helping foster media, particularly here in L.A. What is it like to be able to focus and ensure that the right sort of news is still able to occur at the, at, with the margins that make sense for you? Well, I think, you know, the opportunity for us to take this brand of the L.A. Times, a uh, storied brand, and now convert it from just a newspaper to a news media organization is really exciting. And with Kevin Merida now from ESPN as executive editor, I think we will begin to see over the next few years this evolution of this newspaper. With regards to just the appetite for that, particularly at a local level here in Los Angeles, and even when you go across the country and worldwide here, is that appetite, the consumer appetite, still there for that? Well, I think we need to engage, right? I think you in Los Angeles, you can see we have this, what, sports center of the country here with the Dodgers, the Lakers, the Clippers, uh, the Rams. Uh, we are the music center, we are the food center, we are the uh, entertainment center. And now, obviously, I think the West Coast leads in innovation in climate change. So there's so many areas that are specific to not just this region. We lead, I think, the nation and and, and the globe and an opportunity for Los Angeles Times to report on that and be the voice uh, for the people here on the west side of the nation is really exciting. And there should be consumer Strong, of course. Input. Apologies to cut you off there, um, Dr. Sun Strong. It, what's amazing is well, the breadth of industries that you cover, of course, helping continue to foster the world of media and news, but also the work you've done previously when it comes to fighting cancer, the work you now do to ensure that COVID-19 is more, well, the vaccines against COVID-19 are more accessible, particularly in the emerging markets in South Africa, for example. Can you talk us through what you're focusing on there? Yeah, you know, when we sold, when I sold the company um, to Celgene and to Fresenius in 2010, we barked on a 10-year program in which we will create this vaccine, not only for cancer, but also for covid and this company now, Immunity Bio, uh, which we've taken public, is the culmination of literally a decade's worth of work. COVID, we were already in about 150 patients with the National Cancer Institute with our vaccine uh, in cancer, in which uh, both for, in, we, and we're about to embark, frankly, on a, one of the first preventative cancer trials um, in colon cancer. So the data that we have now with pancreatic cancer, triple negative breast cancer, lung cancer, and bladder cancer validates this concept that if you activate your immune system without high-dose chemotherapy um, and an orchestration of molecules, you can actually change the paradigm of cancer. We're using that exact same approach for COVID in order for us to actually address this pandemic in COVID we really need to actually stop the transmission.